it's Dan from the Mike James Rock Show, and it's fresh off the stage. It is midnight, uh, first date in the UK. Mm -hmm. It's Bloodywood. I'm going to get them to introduce themselves. Oh, okay. Uh, we're Bloodywood. <laughs> yeah. We are Bloody Wood! And the mic just clipped. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Jent. I'm Karan. And the rest of the band are probably drunk. So <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys got literally jumped on as soon as you got off stage by everybody here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, after watching you guys, it seems a bit silly to ask you whether you had a good time. Because oh, that was What are you expecting? What are you expecting us to say? Of course we had yeah. a good time. We had an amazing time. We're and never going to be like, oh, yeah. now. Because we did have a good time. And it might look weird, but that has happened almost in every city. And but we're still not getting used to it. Yeah, For, we're not getting used to it, but we love it too. <laughs> and like, I, it, it's nice yeah. to get is, a little appreciation here. And there. This is literally your first tour. You were saying before uh, yes. the show. Is that first tour like outside of India or? It's a first tour ever. Like Even ever, 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 ever. This is actually our what ninth ninth show, ninth show ever. No, actually, wait. Two in Delhi, two, two, two in India, then seven here. Yeah. So that's nine. Yeah. Wow. wow. Ninth show ever. And so like, we saw that your gig last night was that you had everybody crowd surfing as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He started it. Yeah. He started it. So the crowd was pumped up. Paris, wow, what a crowd. And I could see waves, that all I could see. And there were like, what, 500 people there. Yeah. That's it. But the venue was packed and it was hard to differentiate between people because it literally looked like a wave. <laughs> And we've got this thing where we record when people, like people's reaction, we like recording it. And I was doing that and he's like, hey, record this. And he jumped on the cloud and he starts surfing. And then I was like, see, I probably am the threshold of the fat people in the band. So if <laughs> I surf, if I surf, the other two or three guys will too. Because yeah. if I, it's successful with me, it's successful with everyone. So I go and wow, yeah. like carrying me around. And then I, I looked back and like we were crossing each other while surfing like this. That was awesome. Yeah, it, it's been a tour of firsts yeah. for us. So first time ever outside India, first time ever crowd surfing, first time ever selling out shows. Selling out shows, yeah. Never happened. Don't expect it to happen in India, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, not. No, I mean, we didn't. Didn't. Sorry, we didn't expect it to happen. Yeah. And because uh, you, know. you had the online sort of viral success yes. out yeah. of the videos, which just got better and better because I caught you on I think it was the first one Punjab Metal that went yeah, like Facebook neither was getting, famous yeah. like you guys got a bit of a following on Facebook and then I realised yeah. that so many people were doing the same thing as me and going I just love it like <laughs> nobody sounds like you yeah. um, and then like um, I, th I can never I'm sorry I can't pronounce the names of the track that that's well. fine it's called Mundia to Bach Rahi which better luck pronouncing it <laughs> Translation translates to beware of the boys. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And I love because uh, uh, it's the mental health one about depression. GB did. Yes. Yeah, that one. When I saw what you guys did as well with offering the counselling. Yeah. I was just like, I have to speak to them when they come to the UK. Oh, because thank you, man. And I, it was just you're setting such an example, and then watching the way you talk to the crowd as well. Mm -hmm. I imagine that for you guys, it's a, like a bit of a trip that people are listening so much to your message. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's it's we, we can't put it in words, but I can tell you this: that every band that starts out wants to change the world in a positive way. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we're so lucky that we got to do it with our first original. Thanks for Oh man, time. yeah, yeah. We, you know, if we, we've started this thing that whenever we do, whenever we play that song, as yeah. soon as the chorus hits. He points the mic towards the crowd yeah. and the crowd sings and oh my god. And yeah. I started actually, I, I started doing that after the second show itself, I guess. Because I just realized that the people were louder. And yeah. people, a lot of people, and I'm talking about Europeans, like we were in Germany. Yeah. German people singing Hindi lyrics. And that's why I just, I have kind of stopped doing that. Because I, I mean... He stopped singing the no, chorus. Like I, <laughs> I stopped singing at that point because yeah. I yes the people yeah. take it forward yeah. it's, it's the song for the it's people unbelievable yeah. we get after the show uh, we make it a point that we speak to everyone who's out there because yeah. people have connected to the song so much yeah uh, even the second original endurant and they, they have their stories to tell and 
it's a lot of emotional baggage to carry around sometimes I hate but you know it's just at the same time it's so it's so uh i don't know man i i can't put it in words but it's the best feeling ever when someone says that you know your your song saved my life it's it I, i mean the happened with me on the stage here yeah like as soon as we got done and when you were like when the i couldn't open the door <clears throat> to the green room yeah. so i when i was getting off the stage this guy stopped me and he asked me can you talk to me for a minute and i was like yeah share share he like he said i wanted to share something with you and he told me that i was driving in the car i would have ended it but your song listening to it understanding it actually saved me i was at a point where every time i was in my car i wanted to end it all so i mean and still happening so and the the lyrics as well i mean um, i remember when it was first dropped it was still when you guys were getting known over here a bit more so because right. being part of the press industry i see what other people like me are looking at as well mm-hmm. um and the response to that i mean i'm somebody that's very open online through yeah. my show that i do struggle with depression and Thanks. anxiety a lot um okay. and i have done for many years and mm-hmm. i loved the lyrics and admittedly it's one of those you guys have got something which very few bands get which is people that don't know necessarily what they're singing but they want to sing it so much they as you say they're singing hindi lyrics yeah. back at you yeah. may not even be singing it properly but they don't care because they just want to sing along with her what's going on very very few bands get that um, yeah. it's like ramstein like yeah. everybody that like, likes to try and sing ramstein in german i don't know german <laughs> um, and i don't know hindi but i was trying to sing along today um, with oh, everyone thank you thank um, you you know that's what i mean we've had our own fair share of the dark spot as we put it the dark everyone place does. everyone yeah. does we were lucky to have people around us who actually concerned yeah. i've lost family to depression mm. lost close cousin to depression i've lost friends to depression so i you know that a lot of things actually made us do this and then we he came up with the idea where he was like let's not just think about it let's just do something about it and that cuz again this was something that was really exciting cuz i found um i think i found you guys when you only had like a a facebook or um just one social media and then it was like well we're trying this and then the first band line up i was like wait is this actually going on tour and then you guys did the video which you may not have been allowed there was that what you guys were saying at the end of it with the full oh, band oh machi was there yeah well yeah. we we it's not like we weren't allowed mm. um we got rejected yeah, <laughs> so that, so one. yeah yeah so uh, we basically made the song for an upcoming game yeah um we were approached by one of the curators of the music for the game and they said hey you know we're making a game about india and we'd love an indian band to make some music about it and we we did that and i think you know what we really like the song so much we thought okay if they don't like it we're going to put it up anyway and you know that that we we made the song several months earlier yep. yeah but okay. we were going to go on to and we thought okay you know let's show what we're about it was amazing and, yeah. to see cuz oh, thank you like thank you i mean people like it and it's almost on a million views almost it's not there i yeah. checked it Yeah. Well the the crazy thing is is you guys like you actually went from being an internet sort of just project to it's right. like no, these guys are a band now and I'm watching yeah. you guys perform in the video I was like it's getting exciting you um, I think are setting a new trend of how to dress metal uh, mixing a uh, sort of uh, the, the your style shall we say with chains <laughs> boots what we do over <laughs> yeah they're like <laughs> I'm thinking I was going to ask you where you get, you know, your stuff from. I might have to I might have to start wearing it myself. We get it on the Indian Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. These are um what is on the ferry not this. Yeah, that's on the from the ferry, but you know the kurtas and everything. Kurtas. The Indian Amazon like you get these Amazon, things for 2 pounds. Uh-huh. For kurtas, for kurtas <laughs> the biggest flea market. Sarojini Nagar, shall be yeah. behind my place. Yeah. Get the Cheers to Sarojini Nagar. Cheers to Sarojini Nagar, literally. Like that place, Kurtas, any ethnic wear, it's got everything. Yeah, just don't take your girlfriend there because it's going to be the longest walk of your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the discrimination of Sarojini Nagar. So for guys, you can find stuff, but for women, it's a hub. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's a lot. It's, it's a there. gold mine. There, there's a joke that goes around in the Indian co- comedy circuit where like girls go to Saraj Nagar then become a Instagram uh, fashion. What's it called? I influencer. Influencer, yes, influencer. the word. Mm. 
because it's got everything everything you, yeah. you dream about it you think about it they've got a mechanism you do you th- think about it they'll make it and start selling it aapka dhyan kidhar hai asli maal idhar hai that's what he says yeah so so the people who are selling stuff there yeah. you okay, okay if you want to have a good time just go to sarojini nagar and listen okay to the people who are selling stuff so what i just said means yeah. uh the fuck are you looking at i got the good stuff <laughs> but it rhymes and it's much funnier in hindi yeah. <laughs> yeah. maybe something slightly lost in translation i mean yeah. if it is like that close you guys should start yeah. reselling it but with like a bloody word uh bloody oh word yeah he came name. up with the idea of doing actually, it you know kurtas and stuff yeah we like we designing it so the attire that i wear is not the same the reason is i'm not satisfied with it okay so for my stuff itself we'll be designing it we're going to come up with it eventually so not just the pants not the kurta all of it that we wear but it's not going to be like you know how people make it like it's designer so it's going to be expensive you know it's not going to be like that it's just metal yeah with our roots that's about it yeah and something that uh, deals well with sweat yeah <laughs> what we're wearing it just soaks up sweat and doesn't let it go so the color changes yeah. like i was wearing red and then by the end of the song people said i was wearing black <laughs> no, no, well, you start to learn why metal loves black oh for yeah. night it's like tonight cuz <laughs> i mean seriously you guys were were killing it so much oh, i don't think there was a dry man. person in the place do you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got our heads in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, don't don't get me wrong. My brain went there, but I was, I was trying to stay professional. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we don't stay professional up to the point, especially yeah. our alcohol. But yes, I mean that's the that, again. That's the beauty of it. The amount of love we've been getting throughout this tour is unreal. Mm. The amount of support we've been getting. That's why I make a note to say that make some noise for yourself. Yeah. Because the it's the people. It's they. It's them who's making us. Yeah. Well, it, it was before you guys even came on. Um, like the lights went down. There's a bit of silence, mm-hmm. and then somebody just said, "Welcome to Bristol, boys," and the whole place went nuts. <laughs> you guys hadn't even played a note, and everybody was already cheering. It. Still, I'll tell you what. It was still a little silent. there have been almost all the shows that we played in germany or even in paris yeah you know when when, when we're in the green room yeah we can hear people saying bloody wood bloody and we we like okay I mean, what do we that's do that's what happened today to so that's why i was not maintaining eye contact with people before it starts yeah, yeah. because i knew this was going to happen and then i looked at that guy and he's like welcome to paris like it's starting again <laughs> and we love that but it's yeah. just like it the initiative is that you get yeah. Yeah, that that's what i was getting to every time so we i'm checking the mic so i'll just take the mic and like check and i listen to them and somebody will listen to it and then now the people are like check 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 oh that happened at dong open air it yeah, was insane was yeah oh man yeah it's it's been wild well i'm i'm going to let you guys go back to everybody that's still here that wants to take a photo with you oh, and for sure everything yeah. like that cuz oh, thank you man you you've been <laughs> you've been so gracious to go around and uh, well we've got a little present for you cuz our photographer oh what's the one what do you have i want to see <laughs> where's the present <laughs> give it to us anyway where is I, it if i end it there we will show you straight away uh, just off camera yeah. oh okay uh, okay. okay oh so, yeah, no, so it's, it's something that you can't show on camera uh, exactly Oh, exactly. All right. I'll take some of the camera now. <laughs> anyway, right. thank you so much guys. Thank you awesome. man. <laughs> thank you for having us really. Thank you. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Brilliant. All right. Cheers. 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 Bye. Welcome to the My James Rock show.